All right, so here you go. Here's the street, guys. This is, you know, easily accessible to any of your children. Any of, uh, any of your children, if you lived in this neighborhood, would would easily be able to just walk right into this disaster. Right? So this is what we're doing in here, guys. We got... We got trash all over from these land banks. Nobody's claiming responsibility, okay? Nobody wants to take care of this, all right? These houses are left open like this for months or even years at a time. You can just imagine the danger it brings into this community. This is one house, okay? I want you to understand. This is one house of maybe 50 or more in a square mile radius of this park um, and this is this is your bank this is you know these are your banks that foreclose on these and then they don't want to come in here and do anything about them um, and they leave them like this for anybody I mean look at there's no nothing stopping anybody from uh and getting up into these things. <clears throat> so that's my question, Flint. For people of the country, would you like would you like your communities to look like it does here in Flint? Would you want your children to play around structures like this? You know, there, there's a lot of work here, guys. I don't think anyone understands the the pure um, the work order we got here. I mean, I just don't think anyone's getting it the full concept of what Camp Promise is doing here, okay? We're dealing with this, okay? This is glass, all right? I know I was a kid, I used to get around my neighborhood, you know, I'd be in somewhere like this, you know? Um, why wouldn't I be? Look at, all I gotta do is jump in here. Um, <coughs> so anyways, it's trash, it's everywhere, you know, and, um, overflows into the park and into the creeks and into the into the other areas of the community um, it's just a shame guys and uh, I want you to understand how much work we got to do here as far as clean just the just the overall cleanup and uh, and um, the safety issues here I mean it's Stuff needs addressed, guys. No one's listening to the people of Flint. Y'all need to stand up with me and shout it. Because this stuff's got to change, man. Why is it okay for a bank to leave a house like this, but they can come mess with you for not mowing your lawn or collecting rainwater? You know, the, the laws, the regulations, the local government, the state governments, your federal governments are being paid to protect these corporations, these banks. You know, the exact systems that, that that destroy our communities, that destroy our, our bonds, our our, um, our community. So, uh, guys, I just wanted to go live over here. I'm on the north side. We haven't been up here yet. We're literally still in the back of the park cleaning. Um, we're waiting on more folks to come. Uh, but I just wanted to show you a shot of, you know, just one house. In, in a very large community of of abandoned properties um we need help out here guys don't lose hope don't lose the faith keep sight of the promise and remember we got a lot of work to do we got a lot of work to do here in flint it is the epicenter um i mean it's sad that the parks almost became a collection zone for trash we're <laughs> We just pick it out of here now and it collects here because of the creek and because of the wood line there on the hill. It's almost just became a filter for that neighborhood trash. Um, anyways, this is live camp promise. Um, kind of cleaning up after the windstorm here at camp. Uh, going through some of the properties still up here, the land bank properties. Getting some of the glass and debris picked up from the sidewalks. Um, try and at least make the sidewalk safe again for some of the people in the community, um, especially the young, 
children that need to um, stay safe and on the sidewalks. These these properties, the, the messes spill out into the streets, the neighbors' yards. You know, nobody's asked. Nobody's asked to see. You know, no one's requested to have that next to them or in their neighborhood. But no one's being held accountable. We need we need accountability. We need people to hold these banks accountable on these foreclosed homes and clean them because you or I can't uh, go without mowing our yards without getting um, without getting some sort of is this fish that I have or chicken that I have? I don't know. If you can't tell, you might not should be doing dishes if you can't tell the difference between a dirt, dirty and clean one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just <laughs> off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, you might not. You might, we might need someone else doing those. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, yes, I agree. We can make the change right here ourselves. I agree with that. I second that strongly. Uh, that's why I camp out here. Um, I can't promise is to make that stand and to help be a physical part of that change, an active part, a working part. Um, once again, guys, this is Camp Promise of Flint, and I just wanted y'all to get a look at what we're doing here and the, the amount of work we have. So please come down. We need all your support. Get here and uh, join in this fight against taking community back. And uh, we appreciate all your help. Hey, there's the TYT people. You can tune into them if you want to get like all the drama details. Hey guys, how you doing, y'all? Hey, I'm Aaron. Good to meet you. Aaron. Good to meet you. Let me get off here. <laughs>